In this example, we will be finding the square root of negative 36. In order to find the square root of a negative value, we need to use the idea of complex numbers. First, let's review what a complex number is. The square root of negative 1 is equal to a value called i, meaning that if you have any negative square roots, you're going to have an i incorporated within that value. Now let's use another math rule in order to further simplify this value. First, let's take a look at what the square root of a times b can expand into. The square root of a times b will equal the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can then expand them into two individual square roots multiplied by each other. If we want to do this with the square root of negative 36, we can use a few values. Let's first rewrite negative 36 as negative 1 times 36. We can therefore rewrite the square root of negative 36 as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 36. Now we can use the idea of complex numbers as mentioned before where the square root of negative 1 is equal to i to rewrite this as i. Now we can rewrite the square root of negative 36 as 6 because 6 times 6 gives us 36. Therefore, the square root of negative 36 can be rewritten as i times 6. It is conventional to put the i at the end, so we will rewrite this as 6i. To check our answer, let's see what 6i times 6i is. 6 times 6 gives us 36, and i times i gives us i squared. Now, in order to check what i squared is, let's take a look at what i is. So i equals the square root of negative 1. If we want to look at the squared value, we can see that i squared equals the square root of negative 1 squared, where that squared and that square root will cancel to give us i squared equal to negative 1. Therefore, 6i squared, which comes from 6i times 6i, is equal to 36 times i squared, where i squared is negative 1. 36 times negative 1. Therefore, the 6i squared is equal to negative 36. And as you can see, if we took the square root of both sides, we would get 6i equal to negative square root of negative 36. This last part was checking our answer, but our full answer is that the square root of negative 36 is equal to 6i.